We're going to cover processing now. That is getting from our drawing to stabilize it so that the drawing area likes ink and the non-image areas like water. We need to process it so that that is chemically as stable as possible so when we print, it goes as smoothly as possible. To do that, we're going to need several things. The magic is going to be lemon juice and gum arabic that we had mixed before that we have. And we're also going to need either flour or baby powder, talc, French chalk, any of those will work. Flour is very accessible, it will work. Again, we're going with materials that should be readily available. You're also going to need a cheesecloth or two, and it helps to have a little bit of cotton. It could be from the makeup aisle at your local drugstore, the little cotton makeup pieces or a piece of just little cotton ball, a brush and a little jar just to put things in. will make life easier. To start, I'm gonna set these out of the way. We have our image and then what we're going to first do is put a little bit of flour or talc on. The reason for this is it breaks the surface tension of your drawing materials, which are all wheat, uh, wax or grease based. And it will allow the lemon juice and the gum to sit better on top of your image area. If you don't do this step, it's really gonna crawl off. So be generous with your flour or your talc. And you saw that's nice and easy. Next up is your lemon juice, shake it. You wanna be generous and you're going to use again, a little piece of cotton and you wanna put a generous amount. We can always add more. Nice and easy. I'm not scrubbing, but massage that over your image area. Now, you want to cover this. There we go. This is looking good. Uh, massage it around and cover it for four to five minutes. All right. If you have, if you notice it's crawling away in non-image areas, you can be more aggressive. The lemon juice is basically cleaning the foil in the non-image areas to keep that from becoming scummy and taking ink, which we don't want. We only want it taking ink where we have image. So we're going to kind of massage this and then I look kind of on the side and I would go out pretty close to the edge. We won't be rolling all the way out here, but kind of pretty far out. And then I'm going to put a little bit more on top and let that just sit. And that's going to be four to five minutes. Okay. Just make sure it's not crawling off. If it is, put a little bit more and move it back on. If it's really crawling off, you get to babysit it. You can't just leave it and walk away. If it's not crawling off, this is doing pretty well. I can just put a puddle on there and then leave that for about four to five minutes before I mop that up with a slightly damp sponge and I'm ready to go to the gum stage. So. That is doing its thing. Now, while that sits, I have my other plate, which it's on the shelf paper, just so it doesn't wiggle much, that's all. This is ready to be gummed. We already did the lemon juice, and I'll go one more time with it. There we go, like that. This can come back here. I'm gonna take a sponge and just a little bit of water and mop that up. You just don't want a lot of lemon juice left on there. And you can either dry it or not worry too much about it. I'm not gonna to worry too much. Next up is our gum that we had made. 
which is this lovely yellowish color, right? Beautiful yellow. And you can either pour or use a brush. I'm gonna pour a little bit. Yep. And then use a brush or your hand, and you're going to wanna cover the whole image. And this, you're going to want to sit and gently kind of massage around your image and your borders, all the way out anywhere you might be rolling, for at least one minute. If you go longer, two to three minutes, it's fine. And you see how the gum is not really crawling off. I have enough on there. It's not crawling off. That is a good sign. But I really wanna make sure that's in there. And again, you can use your hand, you can use a brush, it's up to you. And this is where the jar comes in handy because you can always do that. And that's gonna need a good minute or so. And you're not gonna see anything happening, but you do wanna keep half an eye here and make sure it's not crawling off away from the image area. On this one, when I did it, the lemon juice did wanna crawl off a lot, and so I had to kind of keep babysitting it and move it back on where it belonged. But now the gum is really willing to sit where it should. That is a great sign. Now, when this is ready, after about a minute, you're going to wanna to buff with your cheesecloth. So you wanna get your cheesecloth ready. I have my cheesecloth already folded, but even this I'm gonna make into kind of a pad. When you buff this, the idea is that the gum is going to be then a thin layer snug up to your image area. So let me move this out of the way. Now, when this is ready, I'm gonna wipe this down thin. Just, you don't wanna wipe it off. Just thin it down. There we go. And then, with your cheesecloth, do your border first, and then back and forth. I'm not pushing down really hard. If you're used to doing regular litho, you'll wanna go harder than you need to. The goal here is even. And then I'm gonna to flip to a dry spot, make a little pad, and do circles. There we go. And that is done with processing. That now needs to dry for at least 15 minutes. It can dry overnight, it can dry for an hour, but you wanna give it at least 15 minutes so it can really dry.